Welcome everyone to the YouTube channel. This is Toy Nuts. Today, gonna to be looking at Mattel's WWE Superstars Bray Wyatt figure. The WWE Superstars line takes over from the old uh, Masters of the WWE Universe line, which was like the WWE Superstars reimagined as uh, Masters of the Universe type figures. They kept the same body style and articulation, and that is a way for Mattel to save money, and they uh, are doing actual superstars. This Bray Wyatt's a little odd one for the line because it's mostly focusing on the classic superstars. Bray's not a, you know, classic 80s, early 90s superstar. And that, and this look for Bray is from the Firefly Funhouse match that he had with uh, John Cena at WrestleMania a couple of years ago. So yeah, it was just a real couple, maybe a two or three minute scene with him in this outfit. They went and made this figure for the line. I don't know, I guess it's more just a cheap way to do it. I have no idea, but pretty cool looking figure. Neat one to add. And if you're trying to get the whole line, you're gonna kind of need to get this figure. The card art for it is based off of the old LGN WWE figures that they had back in the day. And then the figure body style and all that is based off the old Remco AWA figures. So it's a nice little mashup of those old early 80 figures. Um, really cool, nice looking, clean packaging. Back of the packaging, again, based off of the old LJN uh, WWF figures from the uh, 80s there. With the uh, hand-drawn black and white uh, picture. You get a close-up of like Bray there with his, you know, one of his logos for the Firefly Funhouse. And then, of course, like a little quote from him. And then on the bottom, they'd always have like pictures of who else would be available. As you can see, it uh, clearly shows that this is Series 1 as a little uh, hologram that they're now putting on a lot of their packaging to show its official product. And then you got, you know, the rest of the series. Honky Tonk Man, Hollywood Hogan, Ric Flair, and again, the odd duck here, Mr. Uh, Bray Wyatt. I'm uh, glad they made this Bray. I mean, the only other uh, in the Masters line they did was a Fiend figure, which was a little lacking, and I'll show him later in the review here. So we got Bray here. Let's open him up and uh, see what we think of him out of the package. We're gonna let this guy breathe. Uh, I do like that it has this little uh, gap between the card and the bubble. So it's easy, you just slide your finger in. You can just pull, separate it enough, and you'll be able to slide them right out. And if you do it quick enough or uh, carefully enough, should I say, you can uh, preserve the card back pretty good. But here he is in his bubble. Uh, you know, uh, there's one piece of uh, rubber band that holds him in on the back, and you can see they taped his uh, little baggie with extra hands. It just pops right off. And then you just take the knife, and you can just slice it right open, and you'll be able to pull him right out. There's uh, small bands around by the feet, but they just pop off. Slide that out, and yeah, okay. The jacket's a little thin, not too bad. Like I said, the oversized bow tie, <sighs> It was smaller like on the uh, card art there. I think I'd like it a little better, but I mean, it's not too bad. Uh, the bow tie you can see is like a little, uh, I don't know, elastic band, sort of like they did with the Papa Shango. A little nudge on the smudge on the back. Looks like it just scrapes right off. The hat removes easily, pops on and holds onto his head pretty good. You can see they got like a, the uh, Mad Hatter style. It's just all painted right on it so they could reuse this hat for something else. What? I have no idea. Uh, really good detailing on the face. Good paint apps. Looks really cool. Like I said, the uh, bow can just be slid right off over his head. No issues there. Like I said, the jacket's really thin, cheap, but not too bad. Uh, typical Masters of the Universe uh, articulation. So a nice good range. Nothing overly tight. Doesn't feel like he'll break. Doesn't seem anything to be overly loose either. This is a really cool figure. I do like it. Yeah, there he is. And to remove the jacket, you know, we'll just straighten them out here. Should be no issue. It, it fits loosely enough, so it just slides right off. No major issues there. Hat just comes right off. Of course, as I said, yeah. I mean, like I said, it, if... Not too bad. Uh, the jacket's fine. I mean, it does. It gets the job done. Uh, probably be easier to just pop the head off, but you can 
to slide the bow tie right off of his head. Gets caught up in, yeah, so probably easier to just pop the head. But yeah, yeah. Oh, they, they did a really good job with the tattoos. Those look really nice. Um, like I said, it has the standard Masters of the Universe Retro Series uh, articulation, so nice range of motion and everything. Joints are tight. He stands on his own. I have not had any issues with that. Yeah, he looks really cool. I like it. Take a close up look at his tattoos and that here. As you can see, like I said, they got a they did a really good job with these. Um, yeah, this is a cool Bray Wyatt for this line. Is he needed in the Superstars retro type line? Eh, I mean, he's popular enough. I know he's you know big merch seller and everything, so I can see why they put him in. This is a cool figure. Uh, he does come with the extra hands uh, open palm with the uh, hurt and heel gloves here um where the joint is you can see they just didn't paint that so it's you know but it, it's it works now the oddball is he does have two closed fists but they are not painted like he's wearing the gloves or anything they're just flesh colored so that one uh cost cut i guess i have no idea the hands just pop right out so you can uh Pop in the new ones and that, you know, do his little signature, hiding his hands. His face with the hand showing the hurt and heel gloves. Um, like I said, really good articulation. Um, nothing seems to be overly tight, stiff, or stuck. So that's a major plus on this one. I mean, you can see the back detailing with the back tattoo and everything. The shirt's just painted on, but you know what? Doesn't need to have like a cloth or a molded shirt. That works perfectly fine. Yeah, this is a really fun Bray Wyatt figure. And like I said, the Masters of the WWE Universe had a Fiend figure, and here he is. You can see uh, pretty much like the same body. He does have the wrestling type pants where he wore the uh, black and red stripes, and he has the wrestling boots as the other has like normal jeans on. But you can see there are some uh, problems here. The Masters Fiend figure did not have the tattoos or anything, and he just had the standard black hands, no gloves with the hurt and heel or anything in that. But he did have the jacket, pretty cool, not bad. But I think we can uh, do a little swapping around here, which is one of the major advantages of this uh, line of figures that Mattel has done. They're pretty easy to swap. So let's make the ultimate Fiend figure for the Superstars line. Uh, pretty much first we'll just great thing about these figures they just pop from the waist no major issues they just just nice little pull they pop right off put the fiend on top there we go with the bray bottom there and we're pretty much halfway there so let's take these uh elbow pads or arm pads there and we'll just slide those right up onto the uh Bray Wyatt tattooed arms and then they just fit on right you know they're nice rubbery they're there's they're, they're tight enough but also soft enough so they uh fit pretty snug and again the heads just pop right off do a quick head swap also can't forget the uh vest the theme vest and a you know nice hard rubber but it just slides right off with no issue um you do it beforehand because the Bray has the longer hair so this way easier to get it there we go a little tight fit but i really don't fear it ripping or tearing the uh vest there we go get him all set up like this and then grab the fiend head and the fiend is much better there we go he's got his tattoos and everything and now you're saying well but the bray he doesn't have his but ah the great thing is We'll be displaying this one with the jacket on, so it will cover the tattoos. And it goes right on. Like I said, it's no snags, no, it's not too tight or anything, so arms fit just perfectly. And then we'll put the bow tie on. It's much easier to do before putting the head on because, oh, got it upside down there. There we go. And then we'll just pop that head right on. As you can see, it has that little nub hole and get his hat and that is just so much better 
And then with the black gloves, you can see on the card art, he does show he's just wearing normal black gloves, not the hurt heel gloves in this character. So this just looks so much better. There we go. Now I got two complete Bray Wyatt slash Fiend figures for the WWE Superstars line. Yeah, if you've got the Fiend Masters figure, I do recommend grabbing this Superstars Bray so you can do the swap and it will be more accurate and it looks really cool. Or if you just want a Bray figure, this is the one to do. You can just take the jacket off and he's pretty much ready to go. Um, yeah, I highly recommend this line. Like I said, they're Walmart exclusives. They're pretty easy to find. You shouldn't really have any major difficulties. I want to say thank you for watching the video. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Drop a comment below what you think of the WB Superstars line. And who else would you like to see in the future waves? Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and excelsior.